the treatment of atopic diseases in dogs and cats should be proactive rather than reactive so we should be very much mindful while treating these atopic cases focus should be on the consistent and effective management of the disease rather than just crisis management during flare ups also the newer treatment modalities have expanded the ability to reduce pruritis but are not replacement for diagnosis and resolution or control of the primary disease we should be always very much mindful in choosing the proper line of treatment and addressing the root of the cause now treatment of atopic dermatitis should not be considered until other causes of pruritis have been eliminated previous treatment recommendations have focused more on the management of the immunologic causes of atopic dermatitis the inside outside model more recently restoring the skin barrier function that that means the outside inside and inside outside model has gained momentum and has gained attention so like this traffic is regulated and there is no chaos anywhere similarly vet pet parent they have to work hand in hand to control this frustrating but very interesting disease called as canine atopic dermatitis thank you for watching dermatitis